I don't know what happened again. It's like right around that 10 minute mark. My computer says, you know what? Go fuck yourself, Rich. We're going to shut down, you know? But I'm not restarting. Same thing as last week. Two part video, baby. See, this is why I am the best commissioner you've ever had. I don't give up. Never surrender. Never back down. All right, boys? Where the fuck was I? Um, Steve versus Ronald and his 18 team names. So now he is Team Killshot. Who knows what will be next week? Uh, Ron 2-1. and one, Steve 2-1. and one, Great matchup. Easily could have been game of the week. But, um, you know, them combined haven't won as many titles as I or Bobby. So obviously we have – sorry, I have to adjust my uh, boxers. Wedgie going on. Um Anyway, yeah, me and Bobby, six, you know, six uh, championships between us, and I just can't keep putting Steve in the game of the week. It's kind of unfair. So, let's analyze this game. It's forecasted, if you will. Steve, two empty slots. I like what you're doing, making me think. Projected, 74.5. Ron, 95.9 with all your spots filled. Thank you. Makes it easier for me. Um, so, honestly, it's a tough game for me because I, I – the Patriots do this once in a while. You know, they look like they're going to go downhill and then all of a sudden they just dominate like week after week. And I think this is probably the week the Patriots are going to start doing that. But even with that, I like Ron's matchups. Even if Brady scores 20, gives a touchdown to Gronk, you know, uh, what's that receiver? Philip Dorsett, you still got that guy? No, no, you dropped him because he, you know, didn't catch anything last week. But even if. Uh, the Patriots come back strong. I still think uh, Ron, with his matchups and stealing a wide receiver from you, Chris Hogan, I, they're gonna they're gonna have a they're gonna have very good weeks this week. Um, Gurley going up against Minnesota is a tougher matchup there, but you got Howard going up against Tampa, which uh, the Tampa defense is struggling again this year as they always do, which is depressing. Uh, I, I just I, I like Ron's matchups here. Um, and overall, I, uh, Ron's, Ron will win this. Ron, Ron's got it. And then you got, uh, in Steve's side, you know, Stephon Diggs going up against Los Angeles. I know they're missing their two corners, and I get it. And I'm going to start Kirk Cousins. I just, that defensive line is unbelievably scary. Uh, I, I really hope they can use, like, eight offensive linemen tonight. Like, for some reason, the NFL just, you know, calls and says, hey, you can allow the Vikings to have eight offensive linemen so Kirk Cousins has time to throw the ball or else I think his season might be over. It's not looking good. Um, but anyway, I got Ronald uh, over Steve, which would move Ron to 3-1 and one and Steve to 2-2. Two and two. Well, that about wraps up the projection. Sorry that my computer cut off again. My bad. Um, again, vote on the poll. Uh, it's, a, it's an important one. And then James, pay attention to it. And uh, yeah. That'll about wrap it up. It, it's a good idea to wrap it up, boys. It's a good idea, unless you want a fucking baby, you know. So keep keep it wrapped up, you know. You know, make make sure your pullout game is strong, if you will. Um. Yeah. Poo!